historically more liberal thinking, but a new survey by collegeclicktv.com is taking another look at the youth vote and its potential impact on today's results. We spent the last year on college campuses, and we went to the Ivy Leagues. Uh, we went to all eight of them, and we did an exit poll. We asked 200 kids at midnight coming out of the library uh, who they thought would win, uh, who they were voting for, uh, what their top issues were, and did they support the Bush Doctrine. The results were surprising. 56% of the kids said they were voting for McCain, uh, but interestingly enough, 55% predicted uh, an Obama victory. 55% of them say that uh, Obama is going to win. Our ad campaign is going to be reflective of that. But Eric points out that the results of the site's informal poll may not translate to election day results. It's an interesting demographic because I don't know will these kids actually be voting. I mean, they just because every Ivy League is in a blue state, um, but just because they're in a blue state does not mean that that's where the kids are from. They could be from a red state. Um, but will they vote absentee? Will they go home to vote? I mean, we don't know. High schools are another hot spot for political enthusiasm, even though most students are not old enough to cast a ballot. These kids are very politically engaged. They're very well read. They know the issues. To think that high school students are so engaged with this election is a wonderful, wonderful thing for this country because hopefully that means that as they grow up, they will vote. Whether you are red or blue, Eric has this message. Just do it. As long as I've been alive, I've been predicting record number of youth. It has never happened. It's always the demographic that disappoints. If it doesn't disappoint this time, it will probably swing the election. You can get the scoop on colleges around the country without ever leaving your home. Just log on to our website, wpix.com slash morning news. Still to come on the morning news, our team coverage of Election Day continues with live reports from Obama and McCain headquarters. We'll be back in 60 seconds.